First at five, just a few hours ago in a news conference, we heard from the attorney representing a Douglas County judge who was arrested early Thursday morning outside of a Buckhead bar. Yeah, he says that his client, Judge Christina Peterson, was simply being a good Samaritan. And now he's calling on criminal charges against her to be dropped. 11 Alive's Karis Belger was there today. Karis joining us live tonight. So what else did attorney Marvin Arrington say here, Karis? Well, Judge Christina Peterson's attorney says the person who should have been in arrested is the person who attacked a woman outside of a Buckhead lounge. That's the same woman he says Peterson was only trying to help. And now he's calling on Atlanta police to release the footage he says will prove his client is innocent. I saw a perfect stranger that I had never seen before in my life do something that I wasn't even brave enough to do. She stepped up and helped my friend. Shannon Kelly says that perfect stranger was Douglas County probate judge Christina Pearson. Kelly shared this video with 11 Alive, which she says shows Peterson being arrested after stepping in to stop a fight involving her friend, Alexandria Love. I had to sit there and call 911. It just feel horrible that nobody actually helped me. I have never been in that situation before in my life. Love says she was standing in line outside of Red Martini Lounge in Buckhead when a woman near her got irate when she accidentally brushed against her. That's when Love says a man standing next to her in line physically assaulted her. He viciously attacked me, fist force, punched me in my face, and she was the only one to help me. In arrest warrants, officers claim Peterson struck an officer with a closed fist. Judge Peterson is charged with willful obstruction of a police officer by using threats, a felony crime, and simple battery against an officer, a misdemeanor. We call on the Atlanta Police Department to dismiss these charges against Judge Peterson. This is living proof of no good deed goes unpunished. Her attorney, Marvin Arrington, says it was not his client who should be charged, but the man in question. And he's urging police to release the footage he says will prove his client is innocent. Now we have reached out to the Atlanta Police Department multiple times. They told 11 Alive that the incident report for this case is not yet ready and the body camera footage would not be released until this case is adjudicated. Back to you. All right, Karis, thank you so much for that update.